Hi there, Shadi Bazzi here, founder of Elite Sales Mastery, where I teach real estate professionals how to attract more leads, go on more appointments, take more listings, close more sales, and the best part is doing it all in less time with less effort. That's exactly what I want to talk to you about today is the power of three and how three is better than eight. So Shadi, what are you talking about? Three is better than eight. Eight of anything has got to be better than three of anything, right? Absolutely not. Maybe eight dollars is better than three dollars. Eight thousand is better than three thousand. But what I'm gonna talk to you about today is three is way better than eight. And what I'm talking about is three hours of solid work every single day to take your business to the next level versus having eight hours of unfocused work each and every single day because he or she that is more focused during a task will for sure achieve better outcomes than he or she that works more hours to produce less. We're talking about effectiveness, we're talking about efficiencies here. So here is my suggestion. Each and every single day, Monday through Friday or whatever work days you work, put together a block of time for you for just three hours. Three hours solely consisting of business building activities. Now, how do you make sure that all the work gets done during these hours? Well, number one, I put down, let everyone around you know, your family members, whoever it is, know that during these three hours, you are to be totally uninterrupted. As a matter of fact, this is exactly what I do. The family knows that they can't reach me for anything except for an emergency during that time, okay? So that's number one, let everyone around you know that during these three hours, you are to be distraction free. Number two, the phone must be turned off. The phone must be turned off. I mean, nowadays with a smartphone, you got all these different notifications from applications, your emails, your text messages, the phone ringing, etc. That right there is a huge distraction for many people. So you got to discipline yourself to turn the phone off. What I do is I personally turn that phone off during my three hours of focused work time. And my family knows if in case of an emergency, they can call me on my office line. And that would be the best way to get a hold of me should an emergency occur, God forbid. Number three, I turn off my emails. I turn off my emails because there's always emails coming in with every single ding is a distraction, okay? So turn off the emails, I turn off my Skype, turn off Facebook, turn off Twitter, turn off everything. As a matter of fact, if you don't need your computer at all, you know, during the three hours for whatever it is that you're working on, turn off the computer. Number four, I turn on music. See, I've identified there's a certain kind of music that when I listen to, it just, you know, puts me in the zone and causes me to feel good about whatever it is that I'm doing. So I don't know what it is for you. If it's music and music works for you, then turn on the music. Be in that right environment. You create your own environment. Next, I have my list of outcomes right there in front of me. This is my list of outcomes. This is what I want to accomplish in the next three hours. So I don't work just to say I worked. I work on certain things to achieve a certain outcome. So always ask yourself before you begin this three hour block of time, what do I want to accomplish in the next three hours? Okay, and then you ask yourself the next question, how do I accomplish that? What are the things I absolutely need to do in the order that I need to do them in, in order for me to create that end result? For you, it could be, you know, I need to call 10 past clients, I need to connect with some of my sphere of influence, maybe I need to call some expires, maybe some fizzbos, maybe I need to call around listings and sales, etc whatever it is for you have that plan of action step by step and then follow that plan of action the final thing that i do is i set a timer a timer for three hours and it's it's, it's going backwards and at the end of three hours it just buzzes to let me know that i have you know put in my three hours now do i stop right there yes i stopped doing what i was working on right there but there's one other thing that i do before I move on to the next task or to the rest of my day. What do I do? I actually measure my performance during the three hours. That's exactly what I do. I take a look at you know the list of things I wanted to accomplish and I grade myself on a scale of one to 10 in every single one of those categories. 10 meaning it's complete. Anything less than 10, it means that it is incomplete. 
it's very important for you to measure your performance not just in terms of results but also in terms of you know the effort that you put in towards accomplishing whatever it is that you want to accomplish so when you do that every single day three hours a day even if you did that four days a week that's 12 hours and you could accomplish more in those 12 hours than most people will in 40 to 50 hours a week so Take on this exercise and I look forward to seeing you and hearing about your results in the future. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.